All right, guys, new day, new video. Uh, today we are doing the iPhone 12 along with a uh, Sony A7 III with a 16 to 35 millimeter Zeiss lens. Um, so this camera costs about $3,000, I think. This camera, yeah, this camera, I, if you look it up right now, it probably costs about $3,000 along with the lens. The lens itself is like a $1,000 lens. It's a Zeiss lens. Very good glass on here. Um, the A7 III, of course, everyone knows about the A7 III. This is like Sony super duper cheap full frame. I call it cheap because there's a lot more expensive version of the A7 III out there. There's like the A7C, there's, which is what I'm shooting on. There's the A7S III, which is like $4,000. Anyway, this is the cheapest full frame that Sony has. And this whole package right here costs about $3,000. Now, my friend here has an iPhone Pro, iPhone 12 Pro, yes, the iPhone 12 Pro, and what is that noise? Good God, we, we are in nature, guys. This is, this is what you call nature right here, so please excuse us while we uh, film nature today, because what we're going to do is we are going to compare the iPhone 12 along with the $3,000 camera. And you know what? What I'm gonna do on this video, I'm not even gonna put down which camera it is until at the end of each clip to let you guys see which is which. But you guys are gonna have to guess based on the footage if it's from the iPhone 12 Pro or is it on the Sony A7 III, all right? The first thing we, we're gonna do is we're gonna film uh, using the wide angle lens. Um, this this Zeiss lens right here that I have, it will go up to like 16 millimeter, which is really wide, which, which is like, this is what wedding photographer uses to like shoot their weddings. The iPhone 12 here, the wide angle lens on there, I believe goes up to, what, what is it? 13, 13 millimeters. 13, 15 millimeters. So it has a little bit of advantage right there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna use that wide angle versus this wide angle. All right, let's go.
Wow, he went all the way down.